Welcome back to Classy and Chic Gems Podcast. My name is Anita, and I'm your podcast host and founder, and I hope you're doing well. You know, I think that one of the most amazing things about our world is that we are in a world where we are so busy all of the time, and um, it's so nice to be able to slow down and take a minute to just love on the people that God has placed in our lives. So, if you're listening to this for the first time and you are wondering, okay, what does Anita talk about in this podcast? I talk about a little bit of everything, but the main thing that I want to do is bring you hope throughout the circumstances that life brings your way. So, tonight we're going to be talking about how to remain positive in a world where dating seems like it is a negative experience. (laughs) How do you navigate through dating when everyone is telling you that, you know, they've experienced all of these horrible situations? So I think the first thing is you got to be open to knowing what you will tolerate and what you won't tolerate. And I think for me, one of the biggest things that I've learned in dating is that people show you who they are. Now, it's up to you whether you listen to them or not, but they show you who they are initially. And so it is vital that you take the time to listen to what they're showing you. And I feel like God gives us opportunities to, you know, listen to him and he will show you exactly how what this person is like if you're paying attention. But now if you're not, then you will have to go through some lessons. And I think that walking through lessons over and over again is definitely for the birds. I do not think <laughs> I do not think that, you know, past a certain age that you need to go through this same lesson over and over again because it is it is up to you to listen, you know, and learn from whatever it is that God is trying to show you. So I want to jump right into ghosting. You know, I think that one of the most confusing things for a lot of people is, you know, when somebody ghosts you and you don't understand why they ghosted you, you know, things were going well and then all of a sudden they fall off the earth. Well, I think the one thing that I want to be sure to tell you is that when somebody ghosts you, that shows everything about their character. It does not have anything to do with you. And so if somebody can ghost you and just leave you in limbo wondering what happened, then why would you want to give your heart or your time to somebody like that? You know, if they have no remorse for what they did and, you know, and they feel like they are, you know, tricking you or whatever it may be, I feel like you really bit the bullet. You know, you you were able to dodge someone that could have been horrible for you in your life. Now, should you feel like, should you ever feel like you're missing out on someone like that? No. Because that shows you so much about their character. I think one of the things, um, I think one of the things that I have always learned is that um, whenever you are able to love yourself, you project that out to others and that projection is outward and I think a lot of people are intimidated by that and one of the things that I always do is you know I know who I am and I know who I'm not and I also know that I love who I am I'm comfortable in my skin and all of that and that radiates from the inside out and so it does intimidate people but I also uh, want to convey that there's an authentic, authenticity about me that people can be truthful with me and, you know, share who they are and not try to be anybody that they're not. But I believe a lot of people spend their days worried about, you know, somebody judging them and wondering if somebody's going to find out exactly who they are. So if you've been ghosted recently and you're sitting at home right now eating ice cream eating chips and watching Hallmark, (laughs) I think one of the things that you need to do is just be grateful that this person is not in your life. You want somebody who is sure about you and you want somebody who can be truthful with their feelings and be, you know, somebody who shows up for you, somebody who's consistent. But when you are dealing with a wild card, you never know how that person is feeling. And so it is not up to you to fix somebody. 
people have to be wanting to change. You know, they want to have to change in however the capacity is that they need to change. But whenever you are able to embrace who you are, you give people their, their ability to do so as well. So, I want to bring up something right now. I feel like a lot of people hold on to pain from situations that they shouldn't have held on to, right? I feel like it is so easy for people to project rejection as being something that they need to look at inwardly and think that if I were prettier or if I was funnier or whatever it may be, then this person might accept me. This person might want to be with me. But I want you to look at it this way. This person saw all of your amazing qualities and they still chose to leave. So it is it has nothing to do with you, but it has everything to do with them. And so maybe you are in a situation where that person has moved on and they seem happy or whatever it is. Wish them well. Wish them well. Do not harbor any bad feelings. You know, God sees everything that people do to you. He does. He sees everything that people do to you. And so all you have to do is remain in a place where you are peaceful, where you have your heart right, and he will deal with the people who have treated you wrong. So I think that the main moral of the story is be you. Be you. Your person's coming. And when the time is right, that person will love you exactly for who you are. You will not have to be anybody else. You will not have to worry about if this person is communicating. You will not have to worry about, you know, whether this person cares about you. You will not have to be confused. You will not have to worry about any of that. Because at the end of the day, when you look yourself in the mirror, you need to know that you are the best person that you can be. And so maybe there might be somebody listening right now who goes through dating and relationships and you feel like, you know, you're just running from person to person and maybe you ghost people, you know, let's be honest, there are a bunch of people who ghost people and they don't care how they treat other people. But this message is for you as well. I hope you realize who you are and I hope you realize who you're not. And so whenever you are living a life where you seem like you don't care about other people, those same things are going to come back your way. So I hope that you are in a space in your life where you feel like you want to change, where you want to be better and do better. Because at the end of the day, it's up to you. It's up to you whether you stay in that same place where you feel like everybody has hurt you or where you feel like you have to be the victim and so you're you're projecting this outwardly on everybody else or you want to come in this place where you are healed and you heal other people as well you put them in their safe era in their calm era in their peaceful era versus their on guard era so at the end of the day it's all about how who you choose to be who will you choose to be in this world will you choose to be somebody who treats people well or will you choose to be somebody who plays games with people's hearts